I know We Day is a show about making the world a better place, and I want to help, but shuttle driver? Well, let's see who we're picking up first. Oh, my. We Day shuttle here. Hey, Martin. Hey, kiddo, hop in. Yeah, it's We Day. Martin Sheen. Welcome to We Day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The doctor is in. Always for We Day. How you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Okay. We Day Pop Quiz. Oh, all right. We make a difference with our schools, families, and... Friends. <laughs> I get you. Before we begin, okay. what are your We Day Top 3? Do you have a Dr. Philism for We Day? Well, how about this? It's like getting on a bus. You gotta make change before you get in. That's good. I love, I love that we're celebrating young people doing good, and you'll leave feeling inspired. And? And you, Martin, you are a wee VIP if I say so myself. Well, as long as you say so. <laughs> you ready to have fun? Of course, because we just want to have fun. Time after time. <laughs> Name three stars of Wee Day. The kids. The kids and uh, the kids. Right. How about this? A Wee Day makes me as happy as a cat in a wool factory. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. How's that? Oh, well. Yeah, I'll try it. Good luck, I'll doctor. Try. And the most charming star of We Day is... Will Ferrell. Um, I mean, I he's just so... I think this is your stop, right? Actually, I'm... No, I think I'm no, I'm sure it is. You're out here. Well, look who it is, our host, Uncle Jesse. He's the president. <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little. Actually, a lot. I'm not nervous. Don't worry, John. You'll be great. Just remember, We makes doing good doable. And don't be nervous. No, I meant about your driving. Could you keep it down to about four? You know I'm not really Uncle Jesse. I'm an actor, right? You know I'm not really the president. Welcome to We Day. Tonight, we're changing the world with Anthony Anderson, Cindy Lauper, Dirks Bentley, Dr. Phil, Jennifer Aniston, Selena Gomez, The Chainsmokers, Whoopi Goldberg, and Will Ferrell. Now... Please welcome to the stage actor and activist Jennifer Aniston. Hi, everybody. The world has been challenging us lately. I mean, it's, it's really, really been challenging us with realities that, that just seem inconceivable and just break our hearts. But as Martin Luther King Jr. said, the time is always right to do what is right, and that time is right now. <laughs> Young people, all of you guys across America have been showing up, they have been speaking up, they have been rising up, they're demanding change, and across the country, people are finally listening. So, that is exactly what I am here to do tonight. I'm going to listen. So, we day, it is my honor to welcome to the stage March of Our Lives co-founders Jacqueline Corrin and Cameron Caskey. Thank you so much, Jim. And thank you to everyone here at We Day for being the leaders of this generation. You know, our school went through a terrible tragedy and the community was deeply hurt, but the students rose up in a way that we've never seen before. From the first day, people told us we couldn't change things. We were just kids who needed to sit down and listen to the adults. And there were times when we thought we were fighting a battle that we were doomed to lose, and our friends would go unremembered. But it was by sticking with each other that we were able to create the march. We as students are the future. We strive to move forward to make this world a better place. One of the strongest ways to do that is with a vote which not all of us have yet. Matter of fact, raise your hand if you will not be able to vote in this coming election. And you know what? That is totally fine. Because for every vote you can't cast, you have family members, friends, and neighbors that you can inspire. You can inspire them to vote for your safety. You know, starting school clubs or local activist groups can make a major impact. All you need to do is have the belief that you can make a difference. Thank you, guys. Your generation is demanding accountability, and you're demanding change, 
And I personally thank you for that. And I want to thank all of you. Your voices matter, so just keep talking. Thank you, guys.